who was Patricia Nichbol, Countess Mountbatten. Prince Philip's cousin dies age 93 inches. Lady Mountbatten, as she was known, passed away on Tuesday, June 13. A statement from her family read, Patricia Mountbatten died peacefully at her home in Mersham, Kent, surrounded by her children. Prince Charles paid tribute to his godmother in a statement which read, I was deeply saddened to learn of the death of my very special godmother, Lady Mountbatten, whom I have known and loved ever since I can first remember. She played an extremely important part in my life and I shall miss her presence most dreadfully. Buckingham Palace said that the Queen and Prince Philip have privately passed on their condolences. Born on Valentine's Day 1924, Lady Mountbatten was first cousin to Prince Philip, third cousin to Queen Elizabeth II, and great-great-granddaughter to Queen Victoria. On October 26, 1946 she married John Nuchbal, 7th Baron Brabourne, with the Queen and Princess Margaret serving as bridesmaids. Together the couple had seven children including Norton, now Earl Mountbatten, and Lady Amanda, who turned down a proposal from Prince Charles. In August 1979, Lady Mountbatten lost her father, Earl Mountbatten, and one of her sons, Nicola, when the IRA blew up the family's boat in Sligo. Lady Mountbatten and her husband were on the boat with their twin sons Nicholas and Timothy, along with Earl Mountbatten and Lord Brabourne's mother, Doreen. Timothy recalled, My family and I were relaxed and happy going out into a flat, calm sea in my grandfather's fishing boat. I remember climbing onto the roof of the cabin and talking to my grandfather, who was steering. I have a distant memory of the sound of the explosion and of a very violent sensation, then nothing. Earl Mountbatten and Nicholas were killed instantly in the blast, as was a 15-year-old boat boy named Paul Maxwell. Doreen died from her injuries the following day. Lady Mountbatten required 120 stitches to her face which she would later dryly refer to as my IRA facelift. Following the incident Lady Mountbatten devoted much of her energies to working with the Child Bereavement Charity and Compassionate Friends, organizations which help grieving families. In 2008, she told The Telegraph how she struggled to cope with the loss of both her son and her father. As anyone whose child dies will know only too well, this news utterly devastated me, she said. In fact, I was so overwhelmed by grief for Nicky, who was just on the threshold of his life, that I began to feel guilty that I was not able to grieve for my father, whom I really adored, in the same way. But the world was mourning him, and there was a comfort in knowing that. Lady Mountbatten was widowed in 2005 and is survived by four sons and two daughters.